today. I feel like they roll. Big buttered roll. So today I have a bit of a different video for you. I decided that my skin was looking really dull and dry, especially when I would wash my makeup off at night and it just felt tight and just, it wasn't moisturized. I was think I, I was stripping the moisture barrier away from my skin. So I decided I'm going to go the vintage way and look for some cold cream. I thought about buying some, but I couldn't really find one I liked. I was too lazy to like look any harder. <laughs> I found this recipe and it's from the year 200. It was developed by a chemist named Galen and it is supposed to treat all kinds of skin problems, but I really just wanted it to take off my makeup <laughs> and moisturize. So it's only three ingredients, super easy. So stick around, I'm gonna show you how to make it and how it works and my impressions of it. And I'm also gonna show you how my skin looks without any makeup. <laughs> So we're going to start with two teaspoons of beeswax, three tablespoons of rose water, and three tablespoons of almond or olive oil. We're going to put the beeswax and the oil together. The rose water or orange blossom water will be separate. You're going to melt the beeswax and bring everything to the same temperature. And little by little, you're going to add the water into the beeswax and oil mixture. And you're gonna whisk it together until it starts to thicken up. And you can see here the color is changing. So you know that when it goes from darker to creamy, it will be ready. So then I used an old um, lotion jar to scoop it into. Reduce, reuse, recycle. And I let it cool down before I put the lid on. And what's nice is that you have some extra so you can rub it all over yourself and moisturize. Alrighty, I'm ready to try out my cold cream. I've only made ancient cold cream. It's been sitting for a little while. It hasn't separated. I'm not really sure how much to use. I've never, I've never used cold cream before. Let's start with like that much. I've heard cold cream is really just supposed to melt off all your makeup, even waterproof mascara. Liquid lipstick on. Feels good. It feels like um like a really thick, you know, like body butter kind of thing. I'm just wearing regular mascara. It's not waterproof. I crocheted these little reusable cotton scrubbies. So far so good. Definitely need something to kind of gather everything after you've melted it off. Need a tiny, tiny bit more of this. I just remembered, I think I read that you're supposed to put it on and then just let it sit for a few minutes, which I did not do. Let's get a little witch hazel. Definitely still some I think it's gonna take a little trial and error. I need to make some smoother pads. The surface of it's too textured. I think if I had one that was more even surface, I would get more drag. It looks really good. Better than normal. I'll try this for a few days. I'll check back in and I'll let you know how it goes. been almost a week and overall my skin is really good. I have noticed a few more kind of closed comedones, comedones, whatever. And this. Dun dun dun. 
I hope it's not from the cold cream. It's not unheard of for me to get a pimple like that, especially like right there. All right, I'm gonna actually stop myself for a second and say that when I was editing, I went back and saw this. So I know it wasn't from the cold cream. So I'm gonna keep using it and see what happens. All right, it's my last day of trying out my ancient cold cream. I think I had to use a lot more of it than I thought I was going to, but here it goes. Okay, so this is my face. No makeup on, no nothing on. Not even any moisturizer, just chapstick. This is detailed. <laughs> um, overall, I'm very happy with how the cold cream has performed. Um, it takes off my makeup really well. The one thing it kind of struggles with is waterproof mascara, but it doesn't really surprise me. Um, I don't really use that a whole lot anyways. Everything else, it really melts off pretty nicely and it just feels great to massage it on. Overall, my skin, it's a lot less dry. If there's a little bit of extra redness, it might be because I just used a peel off mask. I'm gonna go do my makeup. Well, what do you think? Make sure that you have a soft enough and smooth enough surface to remove it all. You can't just wash it off with soap. I mean, you could, but it kind of defeats the purpose. <laughs> you need to be able to really rub it off. Otherwise, you're gonna be left with makeup on your face. Please let me know if you try it and your thoughts. I am very interested. So my Instagram is at Liz Von Villas. You can reach me there or my Facebook group is Vintage Sewing with Liz. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Oh, and if you're interested in creating a makeup look sort of like this, I have a video right up here. You can try that out. Until next time, thanks for watching.